So, I mean, give the less fortunate their money. It's, it's, it's due. Yeah. It's due. They okay. sacrificed. They gave, you know, they gave up, you know, that whole day. You know, it's not right. Right. Can you just describe the work you were doing on that day? Um, well, my wife, she, we went to, how many, uh, in we was in Ward 15. Yeah, we was in Ward 15. A lot of running around, yeah, poll, poll checking, places, reading running, numbers. Taking counts. <laughs> yep. Making sure everybody I gave had out lunches. Make sure yep. everybody had lectures. Stick signs, um, signs. Mom signs. Outside. Outside. The kids were standing outside the in the standing rain. Outside. Holding the big, signs. The big, D.D. Whitman sign. Passing out her rain. literature, stickers, yep, and everything. Okay. This is, uh, oh, sorry. What made you want to work for her campaign in the first place? Well, when I met her, it was, you know, really, I enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed the energy. She was the first woman to ever go on the ballot. So, you know, I thought that this was something, you know, to put myself into because I don't put myself to anything. So, you know, I just felt, you know, let me get out there with her and try to help and see what goes on. I still like her. I don't like the way she did things. And I don't appreciate the way she did things, but it was still something. It was an experience. I enjoyed it. I was able to rekindle some relationships. So I took something out of it, though. It has everything to do with a campaign that obviously is trying to take advantage of a community that they believe didn't know what they were doing. Some people didn't get paid, right? Some people, and that's the part that's really bothering me, okay? I am a black man, and I've never pulled the race card in the state of Rhode Island. I'm 47 years old, and you can go back to Pro Joe, you can go to DePetro, De Dan McGowan, anyone else. I've never said anyone mistreated me because of my dark skin. Today, I'm feeling that way. My good friend Lisa Scorpio, who did not have the proper paperwork for her people, went right down to the headquarters and told them, I need to get paid for my six to seven people that, that work for me. You know what Lisa Scorpio got as a Caucasian woman? She got paid. She got a check. I called all my friends that I knew on the campaign. You know what they got? They got checks. I called some of the higher ups. They got checks for their people. There are dozens of people calling me that didn't get checks. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I actually feel a little stupid, uh, mainly because I know People, what people are going to say, that's what you get. That's what you get, Kobe Dennis. You should have stayed with the Democratic Party. That's what you get. You went with the independent woman, and she independently screwed you. 